A surgical sinus endoscopy includes a sinusotomy, when appropriate, and diagnostic endoscopy. Codes 31233 to 31297 are used to report unilateral procedures unless otherwise specified. The codes 31231 to 31235 for diagnostic evaluation refer to employing a nasal-slash-sinus endoscope to inspect the interior of the nasal cavity and the middle and superior meatus, the turbinates, and the sphenoethmoid recess. Any time a diagnostic evaluation is performed all these areas would be inspected and a separate code is not reported for each area. Nasal endoscopy, diagnostic. Nasal endoscopy, diagnostic, unilateral or bilateral. The physician uses an endoscope for a diagnostic evaluation of the nose. An endoscope has a rigid fiber optic telescope that allows the physician both increased visualization and magnification of internal anatomy. Topical vasoconstrictive agents are applied to the nasal mucosa and nerve blocks with local anesthesia are performed. The endoscope is placed into the nose and a thorough inspection of internal nasal structures is accomplished. No surgical procedure is performed. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, diagnostic with maxillary sinuscopy, via inferior meatus or canine fossa puncture. The physician uses an endoscope for a diagnostic evaluation of the nose and the maxillary sinus. A trocar puncture is made directly into the inferior meatus area of the nose or after a mucosal incision into the canine fossa of the maxilla. The endoscope is placed into the maxillary sinus for evaluation. The intraoral mucosa may be closed in a single layer. The nasal puncture wound does not require closure. No other procedure is performed on the sinus at this time. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, diagnostic with sphenoid sinuscopy, via puncture of sphenoidal space or cannulation of ostium. The physician uses an endoscope for a diagnostic evaluation of the nose and the sphenoid sinus. Access to the sphenoid sinus is accomplished by a trocar puncture made directly into the sphenoid sinus after negotiation through the ethmoids or by cannulation of the sphenoid drainage system that enters the sphenoethmoidal recess. The endoscope is placed into the sphenoid sinus for evaluation. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with biopsy, polypectomy, or debridement. Any identified lesions can be removed by intranasal instruments placed parallel to the endoscope. Scalpels, forceps, snares, and other instruments are used to remove diseased mucosa or lesions from the internal nose. The nose may be packed if excessive bleeding occurs. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with control of nasal hemorrhage. Any bleeding sources are identified. Electrocautery instruments or lasers are placed parallel to the endoscope and are used to stop internal nasal bleeding. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with dacryocysterinostomy. The physician uses an endoscope to visually and surgically assist during a dacryocysterinostomy. When the lacrimal system is obstructed and excessive tearing is a problem for the patient, a dacryocysterinostomy is performed. In this procedure, the new lacrimal drainage system is surgically created from the lower eyelid into the nose. The nasolacrimal duct and other lacrimal structures are visualized. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with concha bullosa resection. The physician uses an endoscope for an intranasal evaluation and surgical resection of a concha bullosa. An intranasal cyst has caused distension, stretching or swelling, of the turbinate bone. This swelling is called a concha bullosa. A scalpel or biting forceps are introduced parallel to the endoscope and are used to excise the concha bullosa. Electrocautery may be used for hemostasis. The nasal cavity may be packed with telpha or gauze for 24 to 48 hours.
nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with ligation of sphenopalatine artery. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, total, anterior and posterior, including frontal sinus exploration, with removal of tissue from frontal sinus, when performed. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with ethmoidectomy, partial, anterior, with ethmoidectomy, total, anterior and posterior. The physician uses an endoscope for surgical resection of the anterior or posterior ethmoidectomy. A scalpel or biting forceps is introduced parallel to the endoscope and is used to remove diseased tissues. Polyps may be excised. Electrocautery may be used for hemostasis. The nasal cavity may be packed with telfa or gauze for 24 to 48 hours. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with maxillary antrostomy, with removal of tissue from maxillary sinus. The physician uses an endoscope for surgical resection of the maxillary sinus. An antrostomy is performed in Indiana 31256 creating an opening for drainage from the maxillary sinus. Additionally Indiana 31267 the maxillary sinus may be opened and the mucosa removed. In either case, electrocautery may be used for hemostasis. The nasal cavity may be packed with telfa or gauze for 24 to 48 hours. Nasal slash sinus endoscopy, surgical, with dilation, e.g., balloon dilation, maxillary sinus osteum, transnasal or via canine fossa. Frontal sinus osteum. Sphenoid sinus osteum. Frontal and sphenoid sinus.